Andy Jager, and I'm an architectural professional based in Cape Town's northern suburbs. We provide a range of services from building plans to council submissions for smaller and large projects across the Western Cape. We are putting together a series of short informational videos focused on aspects of the industry where we often find clients unaware of potential stumbling blocks. Today we are discussing some information we believe a potential property owners should be aware of prior to buying new property. Even if you are not looking to build or add onto the property in the near future, it is crucial to ask for a copy of the existing approved building plans as well as an up-to-date occupancy certificate. This ensures that what is already on the site is there legally and is correctly built or installed. If either of these documents are not available, it is advisable to contact an architectural professional to assist with determining which steps to take to ensure legal occupation. Studying a copy of the title deed pertaining to the property is also important. This could highlight uh, property specific uh, restrictions such as um, servitudes or prohibited uses. Uh, lastly, if the property is located within an estate, it is important to study a copy of the Homeowners Association's design guidelines. If you are looking at buying a property, with the aim being to restructure or add on to existing buildings, then there are further conditions to research and consider prior to signing an offer. Uh, these might include uh, town planning guidelines, which you can obtain from the local building office. Uh, these guidelines set out parameters which might inform uh, the use, positioning and uh, size of any potential additions. Uh, further to that, information regarding existing services which might be located on the property, such as municipal sewer mains or water pipes, can also be obtained from your local building office. Then there's a title deed, as previously mentioned. Uh, if the property is located within a housing or industrial estate or business park, the uh, design guidelines usually set out um, desired aesthetic controls or materials. And finally, uh, there is heritage protection for any building 60 years or older. Taken as a whole, these conditions can form a complex set of parameters within which any future additions will need to be planned. We advise speaking with a professional who can help find workable solutions or advise where, if possible, any uh, relaxations of these conditions might be necessary. Uh, we hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions relating to today's topic, please feel free to contact us on 083-601-8476 or info at michaeldejager.co.za. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.